me and Jill met back in sixth form. She was this smart, sweet little thing. She only just joined our school and we only had one class together. Science it was. I'll never forget. When I first saw her, I knew that she was the one. The one that I'd end up with. The one that I'd spend the rest of my life with. Married. Settled. Happy. <laughs> Suffered no end of grief from the rest of the lads. Just because I wanted to spend time with the teacher's pet. They thought I was turning into some sort of nerd. But they soon changed their mind when they swallowed their pride and spoke to her. Jill had this great thing about her. That whenever she met anyone, they just fell in love with her. She was warm and, and gentle and caring. Just perfect. I'll always remember when she agreed to go out with me. The look on everyone's faces, riddled with jealousy. And the rest, as they say, well, we got married just before she went off to medical school and me into the army. She wore this white dress and her eyes. She had such beautiful eyes. I didn't want to leave her. But I was shipped off pretty soon after that. Two years in the desert. I had a good set of lads behind me, but it's not quite the same. Sharing a room with a bunch of sweaty lads than your own missus, is it? We did quite well out there. Had quite a quiet tour. And then it was just one month before I'd see Jill, till I could hold my girl again. But the desert rebels didn't care that I had a wife to go back to. They preferred burning down schools with children locked inside. They got the kicks from raping young girls and blowing the protesting fathers to smithereens. Animals. Didn't take us long to catch up with the carnage. They just rounded up the prey into another school. Chains across the doors. As everyone screamed, they just laughed and, and kicked them into the dirt. It was just a game to them. I've never felt anger like it. We were caught out by their helicopter blades. They waited for us. They just stood there and, and laughed and joked as we ordered them to surrender. We fired. They laughed some more. We moved in. They burnt down another school. We killed them. Took them all out, clean in the head. They died with smiles on their faces. Bastards. 34 children. All I can hear is, is the whirring of helicopter blades, the, the crackle of the blazing flames and the laughter of those monsters. We were sent home after that. But we were all different somehow. They, they were a good set of lads. They didn't get it. They thought that they were all fine. They, they didn't realise it as soon as I did. Turned out to be just a sprain in the end, but Johnson should have let me be. I wanted my Jill. She'd make me better. She'd 
Started a residency, according to her last letter. I was so proud. She'd already started a night shift by the time I got in. But she'd be home in the morning. I'd see my girl in the morning. She told me that she'd got a ceiling fan for the bedroom, but I don't remember seeing it. There'd been an heat wave for a few weeks, so she wanted to get a fan for our bedroom. <sighs> Whatever it makes her happy. Been traveling for a good few days. So I crashed out pretty much as soon as I got in. She'd be home at 8 a.m. I must set an alarm, I kept thinking. I don't remember hearing her come in. I don't remember her getting undressed and getting into bed. What I do remember is hearing those helicopter blades. What I do remember is he's being pushed to the floor. I do remember fighting back. And I do remember choking the life away. I must see my Jill again. I must win. I must hold my Jill again. I didn't put up much of a fight. Pretty easy kill. There were two of us in bed at 8 a.m. But I woke up alone. Jill. She chose me. Out of all the others, I was the one she chose me. What good did it do her? She was, she was so kind and, and gentle. She was my sweetheart from science class. <laughs> 